Welcome back to our Sailrite Workbench. We're glad you could join us for part four of our automotive refresh series. Now this is a fairly simple project, but we would recommend two people for the install and removal of the headliner just to make it easier. This project does not take a lot of tools and materials. So you just need some fabric, some general trim adhesive, some S18 adhesive, and some scissors. The first step of this project is to remove the old headliner material. As you can see, the old material was loosely held on with duct tape, so it was pretty easy to remove. But we are gonna leave some of the duct tape in place because it was structural. We will place the bare headliner frame with the correct side up and place the fabric over the top of it. So since this is such a large project, we are gonna work in sections. We are gonna pull back half of the fabric and slowly work our way across, spray both the fabric and the surface and apply immediately. We will continue to work in small sections until we reach the end of this side. And then we're gonna repeat the same steps on the other side. Depending on your frame, you might have some small indents and edges like we have. So be sure to work the fabric into those areas. We did find that it was easier on these larger sections to work with the friend. So that's what we're gonna do. Now we will cut off the excess fabric so that we only have about an inch or two hanging over the edges. We are gonna flip the headliner so that the wrong side or the side that will be hidden is facing up. We are going to cut out the opening of the sunroof, leaving a few inches of overhang just like the rest. But we aren't gonna glue these edges down because the trim of our car holds it in place. Now we're gonna use some S18 along the edges to secure the fabric in place. To do so, apply S18 adhesive to both the frame and the fabric. Then allow it to become tacky before adhering them together. While we wait, we're gonna apply adhesive to all the edges. Once they're tacky, pull the fabric up and over the edge into place. Use some scissors as needed to cut the curves and corners of the fabric. Since most of the edges will be covered by trim pieces when they're installed, we don't have to worry too much about the appearance. We just want to ensure that there aren't any wrinkles that are showing and that the material is tightly held in place. And since every headliner has different curves and corners, we didn't go into detail for each one of those sections on ours. But again, if you can minimize the wrinkles with a secure hold, that's the goal. You don't have to worry about what the back looks like. With the headliner frame done, we just have one piece left, the sunroof panel. Remove the old material, just as we did with the headliner. Then place the frame on the new fabric and cut it to size, leaving enough overhang to wrap it to the other side. Since this panel doesn't have a backing, we are just gonna adhere the edges with S18. If yours has any clips protruding like ours, be sure to cut the fabric as needed. With our whole headliner completed, we are gonna reinstall it into our car. 
Again, we suggest two people to make this part easier. You now have an updated headliner to be proud of. We hope that you have found this project helpful and it has inspired you to create something of your own. If you want to see the other projects in this automotive series, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you'll never miss out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.